Uh, Shama, honestly, before we even begin, we, both of us have been watching a lot of uh, the, the news videos or news stories that have been made about you back home. It's, it's already a fascinating story. Uh, can you just take us a bit through what it means to you to be here and where you were even like say 18 months ago? Yeah, it's um, amazing for me, to be honest. Um, knowing that people doing a lot of work back at home, you know, getting the reward for it. So it's really nice for me. Yeah, and, and can you just sort of describe a little bit about where Barakara is? Like in, yeah. in reference to <laughs> Guyana and getting there by boat and all of that? Yeah, Barakara is in uh, the upper part of the river um, from New Amsterdam go through the river straight up the bar it's a very nice village hopefully you get to go there one day oh, i can't wait thank you thank you for the invitation sure. but uh so you know just can you talk about how challenging it has been to, for you for a kid from there to come through the ranks and, and to be in a position where you're almost about to play test cricket yeah well it's all it's all about decision for me i had to make decision um being on the appearance with authenticism and all these things you know so i had to make a decision knowing that i love cricket a lot and that I could go somewhere with it. So I had to make that decision to come out and start a successful life for myself. Uh, and everyone, including your primary teacher, said like you were obsessed with cricket growing yeah. up. Fast bowling? Like, was that always like you think you're not the biggest fast bowler, but like, how did that come about? Yeah, well, um, I was intrigued by a lot of fast bowlers back then, so Kirtley and Courtney Walsh and these men. So I actually followed it up and I really like it now. I really love it, in fact, because um, that worked for me. So I just continue doing that and it brings success for me. What's the strength of your bowling do you think, Sean? Like we saw the full ball that got the first wicket, but then the, the bouncer and the, the, the surprise ball, is, is there something that's your preferred weapon? Uh, yeah, well I just adjust the condition. I just stick to the basic, the wicket, bowl are much fuller and the ball doing much for me. So I just stick to the basic, hit areas and was being consistent as much as I could. And if you were to play a test match next week, um, with the family back home, how do they, can they watch? Yeah, they will, they will watch and they will support and I know that support is out there a lot for me, so I would do my best to make them proud, definitely. How many brothers and sisters have you got back home? Oh, um, five brothers and three sisters. And you still live in the, the village when you're back in, in Guyana, do you? No, you, I'm, you I'm, out in, I'm out on the road in New Amsterdam, Burbies, right. yeah. But, but you go home and visit like whenever you get yeah, Well, not so often because it's, the, the cricket take up much time for me with right. training and but I promise to go home back one day that might just be a surprise with stuff so right. yeah so that's that's all for me uh, that's when I come along with you yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, <laughs> no but like you spoke about watching Courtney Walsh and Curly Ambrose but uh, did you have access to a lot of television back home like when you were growing up and oh uh, not really I really watch highlights cricket a lot I watch back a lot of crickets with these great men because um I think great things work for them back then so I think that that could help me in my game moving forward in my career. So I just watched back a lot of highlights with these men. Uh, and that's it. And what, what did you make of your spells here today? Like you, a few no ball issues, is that just getting used to different surroundings? Or yeah, is it... yeah, that's, that's just it. Um, I think I was a bit too fast to the crease. So that would in, bring the no ball to me. So uh, I just adjust myself and just getting back to my rhythm and that worked well for me today.